Hello and welcome back to Insrouted. So, where we left off last time, I was talking about we had to go find the next NPC, but in the meantime, I actually decided that we need to do two other things first. So, the quest or the storyline actually really wants us to go to the first elixir wall. And that's fine, let's do that. But that requires that we upgrade a little bit, we need better armor, we need uh, better weapons. So, and also after that, I think it really makes sense before we venture off and find NPCs that we go to this spire that is placed roughly around here. Because that will be an excellent uh, vantage point where we can travel in all directions using a glider. Because when we go down towards the elixir well now, we will anyways come across the wood we need to make the glider. So that's three birds with one stone and that's what this this episode will be about so elixir well armor glider and spire so let's get to it um oswald conveniently have an fur armor set and i did take the liberty of making some strings so we are ready to make that so we're just gonna make that one that one and we are gonna run out of mats for pants we need fur but we pretty much got almost the whole set. We're just gonna equip that. And already you can see we have a lot more armor going for us now. Which will keep us alive a lot better. So in order to get that two pieces of fur, we need to kill some beasts. And that's one down. I think that's enough, isn't it? Wasn't it only two we needed? Then we can just head back to Oswald right away. Let's see, fur armor, pants? Yeah, perfect. Make sure to equip that. All those. This is, you know, sure armor just deleted. And be sure to empty your bags every time. Um, I'm just gonna put all these stuff, this stuff in order, this we need. Kinda need a lot of it, don't we? That we don't need. Uh, just move all of this. I mean, we could just salvage this. Oh yeah, when you destroy items, you don't want to get these runes. And those are quite useful because you can enhance your, what the weapons you have. Uh, I'm not going to use this, am I? Is that a one hand? It has the same amount of damage, although it looks cooler, doesn't it? 120 max durability, 250, so it's actually better. Then we can destroy this. Uh, we're going to put this back in here. Arrows, I keep every single one because we, you're going to spend them so fast. Or at some point we're going to get more storage and I'm going to do a more organized system than this. This is just to get some space. Uh, as you can see, we're already running out, but maybe we should actually <laughs> be a bit more organized than this. Let's just take some of this and place it over here. Or we already have those items. Metal? No. Ring? No. What can we put here? Wax? No. Mushrooms. We also need to place the hammer. Wax. That, 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 that. Perfect. Empty bags. And of course, be sure to rest up or buff up. We're gonna get food here. We're gonna get that and we're gonna get the water. Perfect. Let's go. So. And the reason we really want to get this glider is because once you have that, I mean, if we decide to go down this way, we're, we're going to die. Um, but if you have the glider, you can basically just jump and then wingsuit your way down to the bottom. So it saves a lot of time. It's a silly book. Comes back every night. Mm -hmm. 
And since we haven't locked out, this is not respawned yet. We're gonna go down this way. A little piece of lore here we need to pick up in a chest. As you can see, we're in this route now. And uh, this is where the timer starts. We have five minutes worth of action here. But already here, I think this is actually shroud wood. Yep, this is what you need to make the glider. Oh, there's a little camp here. Oh, actually not a little camp, a big camp. Oops, wrong weapon. I see slow weapons uh, do damage, but they also offer the opportunity for the enemy to get faster swings in on you. So it's all situational. down actually just to get a lot of loot here nails useful Otherwise, you'll be spending metal scraps on making those, so... Whoops. Got a mana potion here. And again, you might think, why would I need mana if I'm a fighter type? Well, if you're using the staff, which I haven't made yet, but you can, um, that requires mana. And it's actually quite a useful weapon because it has various types of charges that do area of effect damage. So, if you're encountering a group of like three skeletons, you can try to group them up and then shoot at one of them and you're gonna hit them all. So, and but yeah, mana comes into play because you spend a lot of mana just doing one shot. So, oh, see, here's an hourglass. This is what restores time. As you can see, it gave us five minutes full. So that's quite nice. A little bit more action time here to finish up. And of course you can time that. So I could have waited a little bit longer with using it. But um, I just want to show the effect. That's oh we have no that's gonna be hard to destroy. Sorry for mucking about here. So that takes care of that camp basically. Um, but that heads toward head towards the the well into the shroud oh, just want to get because we're gonna fast travel back when we once we kill the boss so I um, have to get the wood now just a little bit there no let's get this guy as well there will be more hourglasses down closer to the well so I can squander a bit here also, above every well, there is um, a beacon that also resets your time. Um, so you're not completely in trouble. 
even if you do like this and walk about getting mad. I think that's enough straw wood, isn't it? 14, yeah, that should be enough. Okay, let's see. We're gonna face some skeletons here. And here is another place where you have to be a little bit careful with how you move around because there are more barrels that explode. Oh, look at this guy. Let's uh, shoot him down. And he's ranged, that's the reason why he didn't go towards me. So we've got a new POY. I'm gonna trash this little setup here. Just to see what comes out of it. Stroud Survival Flask. So those are also useful. Let's take a look at that. Um, so we're gonna extend the remaining time in the shroud after consumption by two minutes. This effect will last for 45 minutes, so you might as well use it now. Basically just, you know, give some buffer. Whoops. And these guys are probably better taken care of. Sword and shield. And uh, we have the well pretty close. Oops. Use your battles here because this one can actually. Oh, that was a big damage. Oh, I gotta find a way where I can hide for just a second to get this up here. Okay. Whoa, just in time. Oh my god. And there's no oh, maximum use on these, so you just feel free to use them. Too bad. I'm just stab him actually. Oh, we already have four seconds left, so we got two more minutes after that, right? No. Uh, well, that's the price you pay. So as you can see, now we have to corpse run all the way here. Another thing with these guys, some of them are so quiet, so they can practically sneak up on you, and then suddenly you're under attack, which can be a bit frustrating. Here's the beacon I talked about. So you can see it resets our timer. So as long as you stay here, it's going to remain at five minutes. Uh, you can't stay here because there are error, uh, archers around here that will sometimes roam uh, near you. So you will get shut down if you just remain. And this is the well. 
And let's see, I just want to check what kind of weaponry do we have. We do have grenades, which will become very useful down here with this boss. Uh, they're not always useful, but in this case, they can help quite a lot with getting him down. And uh, yeah, make sure to keep an eye on that timer because this encounter can drag out a bit, especially because there will be other mobs as well. But we're just gonna take a few minutes to search this area because there are some a chance it could be you know healing potions here and a potion of all things this guy up. Nope. Basically there's this tree-like structure here which is the mother tree or whatever yeah like this. You have to cut this down with a fell axe a felling axe which is the one I brought here um, because it goes a lot faster. And once you do that the shroud clears in the well so you, the timer stops. Uh, and it, oh, you can see the guy is there. He hasn't spotted me yet, I think. Or has he? Yeah, he has. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's try and kill him. Uh, he's fairly big, he does a lot of damage. And here he comes. And he has this nasty attack that will kill you in a few hits. So try to keep a distance with this guy. Oh. I do prefer to get him ranged. And just dodge out of his attacks. Oh, shit. Ouch. That was close. You should not kid yourself with this guy. You really need to get out of the way and use healing potions. This is where the wand would have been nice. Because the wand don't use... Uh, oh, we got him. So it's not too bad, but he will put up a fight. So, we got a Shranko, we got his head, we got a lot of runes, and we got a nice level 3 mace. His mace, actually. But before we settle down, we want to get rid of this. Just smack it up. There we go, level up, new skill point, new POIs. Sprout has been cleared in this well. There is, as far as I recall, not a lot more to find down here. Um, but others might be wiser, but we got what we came for. Let's check this out. So this one has 11 damage, this one has 21, quite a difference. I think it's a two-handed one actually, so question is whether it matches this, it probably, yeah, more or less. But yeah, so she, this is cutting a little bit of blunt, this is piercing in blunt, so they, they both have, have their justification in usage. Um, and we got this, health on the brute head, rock roll. Good, so now we've done that quest, we can basically just fast travel back. And finish the other stuff. <laughs> and Oswald is very happy about that. So now that we have the Shroud Call, for the first one upgrade, we only need one. Just do it. As you can see, the next one we need a bit more. Five. So that actually means we have to kill five more bosses now in order to get the next upgrade. Did you break something? Now Oswald is gonna tell us to go up the spire. And uh, that's fine. That was the plan anyways. But I want to make the glider first. As you can see, we have a lot of wood. We need fur. We just need one fur. I think we have that, don't we? Yes, we do. 
And again, this is an item you only need to make once. Because it fits in your character like the weapon hook. Uh, there it is. And now... We can glide. And it uses stamina the same way as climbing does. So you can only glide for so long. Uh, but you can drop out of the sky and kind of resume the glide. So it's not going to be a problem. Good. Um, let's see. What do we have as one hand? We have this one. Which is 11 damage, right? Because I want to see that he makes a scrappy sword. 17. So we can choose blunt and we can choose cutting. I think I'm going to choose cutting. We need nails. We actually have just one, but we already have metal. So let's choose that. Then we're going to make a sword. Strike while the iron. Because then we can get rid of this or salvage it and put the sword in. And then we take runes. See, now we have 46. And the way you use these is basically with any NPC, you can go into those and choose enhanced equipment. And the ones that are, you know, green, blue, purple, legendary will have slots that kind of improve the way they work. Uh, since we're going to be using probably the guillotine, uh, we can Anything drop else? that up a bit. And of course, you need to have it in a bag, so we go back here. Let's look at it all. And see. Enhance equipment, guillotine. So the first thing we get is plus four cutting damage. Now we get cutting protection. And no more cutting damage. And then finally, increased critical hit chance. Uh, hit damage, sorry. But we need 21, so we need to kill a lot more uh, enemies to get that. Good. Uh, what do we have more? Does he have shields that are better? Weapons... I forget. We get the best armor so far. There will be another set that is better. But not until we do the next quest. Mm, maybe we should actually... No, we don't have... I was gonna make suggest making a staff, but we don't have any charges. Anyways... Uh, manual crafting... Probably need to get the wand back in the bag. It's there. And then we can just put all this stuff back in. Maybe we should actually now consider making a little bit of a base. I'm just going to make one chest, I think, uh, to empty the bag. So we will make... Oh, we can make the big chest now, which is actually a lot better. But it requires nails, so we're going to spend some metal on that. Uh, let's see again. We have enough logs. Let's let's see if we can make two. So that means 12 nails. Let's get as much metal out as possible. Uh, that's all we get. We have one nail here. Oh, we can make a lot. 10, 9, 8, 10, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. You got a heart of steel. Good. Storage. 1, oh yeah, okay. It makes more nails <laughs> per metal, so we're good. Uh, no need to go in there. We're gonna flip this. Place that guy here. Again, we can always move them later. And probably, maybe... Maybe. <laughs> Use one here as well. So as you can see, these have three rows. That's 24 slots instead, which is a lot better. Just gonna empty all this out. Keep the arrows. We have the wand. Relax. Don't need mana potions. We don't only need one torch. We don't need a torch at all, actually. Whoops, we have two pickaxes. Delete. <laughs> but we do need the one. And that's it, I guess. So. Let's. Whoops. Let's go. Get the spire.
And we're just going to use the quick route again, so jumping across. Oh my god, I, did I just do that? Oh, I can glide. That was close. Well, now you get to see this route from underneath here. Whoops. Ah, I've never been here. Interesting. Ah, not, not, not now. Let's get up back up. I think the thing is, you can't uh, double gravel. So from, from gravel to gravel, which means I, I was just basically what I was doing, doing it in, in midair. I think you have to have ground beneath your feet when you gravel. So, take it slow. And don't spend all your stamina on running. You cannot get up this side, or can you? Um, you have to go around. Yeah, we cannot get up this way. In this little game, we can actually cheese it a little bit because... Oh, we, and it's not even cheesing because it has a grappling point. But you can sort of jump up as well without the hook. Um, some of these walls you can actually get up by double jumping. And you know, like this. Uh, just have to find the right spots, but we might as well do the easy way. And then we have this guy here. Whoops. Wow. We also have that guy over there. That guy, he cannot get up to us. But you might as well weaken him before you go down to him. Like that. He is a bit annoying. Because he's dual wielding. Where did it go? What the heck? Huh. Does he kind of get outside? Oh, yeah, a little bit of a glitch there. Uh, so, be careful to make sure it says open before you do that. Well, he's inside the wall. Okay, I guess we have to tear this place down a little bit. him get all that stuff oh keep reading now oh. nothing hold on again here no that's not here is it no oh, that's not a camp well some of these camps have explosive barrels, so... And we just want to get this guy up here as well. Metal. Good. 
good to go. And the crazy part is that, that you can't even see the other side of the map from here. It's so big. Huh. What is this? Nothing. Oh, there's something glowing over here, right? Could indicate some lore. Uh, that guy. Misfortune strikes like lightning. So it's suggesting searching for hidden tombs. Uh, whoops. Does not want to die down there. The tomb is close by, close by, but wind and rain bar me from venturing further. The creature is scary. Scarcely shelter me, so I surely be stuck. Then he died. <laughs> so yeah, there are a lot of hidden places that needs to be uncovered, which you have plenty of time to to do. But let's get this fire now. So, as you can see, it's pretty tall, and it's a amazing vantage point because you get high up, you can glide from this place, and you can fast travel to it when you're not in the shroud. So, it's kind of like a, a transport hub of sorts. Let's just get these items here. Oh. Engine's fire, beacon of light, right there. So if the book doesn't destroy, you can just dismantle it. It functions the same way. Get old books like that. Just want to see if there's anything missing here. Could be stuff hiding around the corners that is useful. Nope. Again, these urns here could have stuff inside. Let's check those. Wow, right now it's time. No? And then we have a respawn beacon. I think there's something out here the last time I was here, right? Wax. Yeah, I think it's because it's uh, pottery, then the filling act is not as efficient. Heal. Oh, okay, that's nice. Not worth the effort. Let's just check the last side here. Oh, as you see now we got the metal sheets, those uh, we normally need the forge to make. Um, but yeah, so it definitely unlocked the recipe for that. Bone meal is quite nice for various things. You don't get that much of it unfortunately, unless you crush bones. But let's head upwards. So the first time you're at the spire, it's basically kind of a little puzzle you have to figure out how to get to the top. Oops. I think I need to pick up again. Wisp of light. That's a nice little potion that. Uh, makes you a little wisp uh, that acts like a light source. So if you're in a place where you don't want to be holding your torch, you can use that instead. And then we have these little door locks. Some doors are locked but can be opened by pressing buttons. So basically this one will take us up to a place, but I think we need, I recall we need to go through the doors at least. 
find some of the hidden items. Uh, and there will be grappling points along the way as well. But let's go this way first and we can teleport off. Oh yeah, look. Nice. Free stuff. I think it's a common one, wasn't it? Well, we can just put it down. And we need to... Well, we need to get some water. Eat some berries. Do we have anything else? No. This, I'm just going to stand that actually. What is this? Did we not... Oh, we only used one. Let's get this one on. Now we have two. Extra stamina, extra health regeneration, which is quite useful. It doesn't seem like much when it only says plus one, but it is. Okay. Let's get up. Okay, got another spawn point here. No, sorry, am I down at the floor level again? I am. I missed something here. So we are gonna go, let's see. Oh yeah, the grappling was up there. Go up, and across. And the spire doesn't have any enemies at all, but other places where you kind of have to puzzle around like this will have. So you have to be careful in those cases. Let's see. Uh, was there something? I think this is just a room to kind of go crazy, right? And destroy stuff to get stuff. Healing channel. That's for the staff. So if you equip that, the staff will function as a healing staff. And of course it has casting time, so it's not something you're going to use in a heated situation. But if you manage to get away a bit, you can heal yourself quite fast with that. Come on. Oh, we're getting some bone meal here. That's nice. More of it. And again, like I said, these items are hard to come by. So take the time to do this. Whoops. <laughs> oh, come on. Again, wait for the little E. <laughs> so. Salt is useful for making fur. Okay, a little more here. Whoops, that was not my intention. So I don't know why this floor is here actually because it doesn't seem to do much. So I'm wondering is there a hidden door here? Ouch. Hopefully not. Oh, moving on. Oh, more containers. Ah, not bad. Nope. Now it's just getting silly. Oop. A lot of water. Just equip my 
torch, but yeah. As I recall, there is a hidden room here somewhere. I just can't remember where. Storage containers. We end up breaking our cleaver here. This, so. It's totally worth it. Okay. Oh, let's just go down here first. You can see here's the locked door. This means we have to approach it by opening it somewhere else. And in this case, we have to jump. Whee! And then you can crawl over. And then find the button somewhere here. Down here, actually. Probably not likely. <laughs> or we just kind of cut around. So, yeah, same thing. Sometimes just you know check and see if there might be anything in here. Ah. Boo? Words. We're getting close. Getting very close. Cheese, very valuable. So this is a timing question.
Oh yeah, okay, so let's see what was this. See, there's a gold chest behind a lock at the lock door. We need to find a button somewhere. Here? Oh, as you can see, this time we need two buttons. So... The question is if the second button is probably out here somewhere. Uh, up there, maybe. Uh, let's see if we have enough stamina for this. I'm probably gonna fall. Yeah, oh, damn it. I'm even away. You know what? Let's buff up again. Because why not? Do we have anything else? Nothing we can eat? Nope. And now we got some heal challenges earlier, so we might as well equip that because we don't have anything else. And now this staff works as a healing staff. Okay, let's jump up here. Oh. Please don't fall. The other button. Okay, that means we have to go back down. Ouch. And access. Totally worth it. Legendary, even. I don't think I tried to get that before. Wow. So this was 8 power. This was this is 10, but you get a lot more. Uh, and you get faster speeds. More durability. This is perfect. Good. Let's get back. No, nope, not this way, right? Let's get out here. Oh, just oh, conveniently enough arrows. And I think this is the last teleporter. is it? Yes, it is. Finally. Commune with the flame. So now this is a fast travel point. And even better, as you can see, we can see very far and we can glide very far it's pretty much any direction and that is gonna help us get the next NPCs but like promised this was only gonna be about getting to the spire getting the first elixir well and the glider so I hope you enjoyed this little trip up here and yeah, completely enough our cleaver just broke, so we need to go back home anyways. Let's just do that. We can always pass travel back. Also, Oswald is going to be pleased that we got to the spire, so... Commune. Now we're getting told to go find the hunter and the alchemist. Ah, Oswald was... He didn't care. <laughs> Good. We did make this one. How much? Uh, so it's just been, you know, minding its own business while we're away, which is fine. Let's see if we have enough for the forge. We have charcoal. We have wood. We probably have what we need. Two, six, and one. Just gonna find that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's make this. Don't waste your breath. Back, back. Eight. And it fits very nicely right here. And this is gonna, for now, we can only make little sheets, but that's fine because we're gonna need that. Um, because now we can make the rising fighter 
armor, which is a lot better. But that's it for now. Stay tuned for the next episode, um, where we're gonna build the armor and we're gonna get a, at least one NPC, maybe two, depending on how fast it goes. But let's see. So thanks for now and uh, take care. Bye.